In the not too distant future, next Sunday, AD, there was a guy named Joel, not too different from you or me. He worked at Gizmonic Institute, just another face in a red jumpsuit. He did a good job cleaning up the place, but his boss didn't like him, so they shot him in the space. Yeah, just a sec, Tom. Okay. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Satellite of Love. I'm Crow T. Robot, and this here's Tom Servo. Howdy. <laughs> We're retrofitting each other with belly buttons. Yep. Turns out our compeer, Joel Robinson, completely overlooked belly buttons. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just doing it ourselves. Yep. Oh, and there's a good chance we're doing something incredibly stupid. <laughs> Again? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but once it's done, Joel can't do anything about it. <laughs> uh, this isn't going to hurt, is it, Crow? Nah, Marriott Hartley had two navels in Genesis, too. Okay. Oh, oh, be sure to put some lint in it, too. Sure. All right. Okay. Let's do it! <laughs> <laughs> but gravy, what are you guys doing? Well, hi, Joel. Uh, we're giving each other belly buttons. You can't do that. Oh, okay. We weren't that sure. Why, Joel? Why? Why can't you give me the gift of one simple belly button? Look at me, Joel. I, who have none. Yeah, Joel. We don't want to feel weird around the other guys in the locker room. Please, 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 Man there, but for the grace of God, go I. Quiet! I'm contemplating my Bondo navel. Oh, the uh, Quispin Quaker calling. <laughs> <laughs> that fanny flag is a hoot. <laughs> Derwood, it's them. Let's talk baseball. Uh, better yet, let's talk baseball sponsors. Better yet, let's just talk. <laughs> baseball, the great American pastime. But how can we, as evil scientists, hope to dilute or even destroy this great summertime event? Frank? Oh, boy. This is gonna be dark. Thanks. Our invention exchange is based roughly on the popular baseball promotion night. You know, uh, hat night, uh, sock night. Tunnel uh, of chili night. Uh, right, uh, but we've made it evil and hurtful, you know, like we like to do. <laughs> <laughs> so we've rewritten the baseball season with some unsavory and, in some cases, downright dangerous cross-promotional giveaways. <laughs> For the season opener, we have colorless, odorless, toxic gas night. Yeah. <laughs> 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 this not whole day special, the first 10,000 lucky kids get slide whistles. Oh boy. And the second lucky 10,000 kids get real brass knuckles. Then the first 10,000 lucky kids become unlucky. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> this symbol here represents the lovable, huggable San Diego chicken, which must mean it just happens to be crossbow night. <laughs> Frank, right on. <laughs> Give me five. Oh, <laughs> you are righteous. <laughs> then there's the promotional tie-in. The beauty of this concept is, is that it hurts the company supplying the product as well as the fan themselves. Dow Corning presents fiberglass insulation night. Park Davis presents used syringe night. Tires Plus presents the peppermint schnapps tire iron double 
hit her. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's about as evil as it gets, don't you think, Joel? Mm -hmm. Oh, sure, sir. That's real evil. Of course it is. <laughs> well, our invention exchange this week is based on some foot fashions and some clever wordplay. Tom? Thanks, Joel. Say, ever notice how the trendy shoes Doc Martens and the name of the popular mad cartoonist Don Martin almost sound the same? Well, we did. Right. And our take a walk on the wild side department has converted the command table to a high fashion walkway to present Doc Martens for Don Martin, Joel. Yes, yes. Don Martin, the maddest of the mad cartoonists, has a real flair for drawing funny footwear. And Doc Martin's British shoe importer also has a real flair for making and selling funny footwear. So I say come Ah, uh, what do you think, Chester Bester Tester? How about Poopy Night? <laughs> poopy. <laughs> what? Your movie this week, Joel, is a little piece of dreck called The Girl in Lover's Lane. Poopy night. Hey, Frank. Come on, that's funny. I'm not <laughs> saying it isn't funny. It's... What, are you going to give kids poop? Well, I. Go oh, <laughs> nice shoes. Burlington Northern presents a film by Casey Jones. How's that, Mr. Jermoosh? Wait, we just want to pants you. We've never pantsed a hobo before. He doesn't understand the concept of hopping a freight. Ollie, Ollie, free and oxen free. Sir, we just want to punch your ticket. Calvin Klein jeans. Oh, damn Jehovah's Witnesses. Richie Brockelman, The Lost Episodes. Hey, my trusty library card. I heard a wallet over there. Scotty, beam me out of here. Hey, he rolled himself. Like wallets, like sun. Stamp all butts, dead out. Oh, well, at least he's a donor. Hey, I think we're losing our significance here. We better do some crimes, man. It'll be written right out of the script. He does look like an easy target for thugs. Hell, I'd like to beat him up. Sneak, Von Ryan, sneak! Oh, you know, this happened on Thomas the Tank Engine one time. Okay, you join our discussion salon or you're dead. I'll hold a new search's pocket. You do the voice, I'll move the jaw. He's clean. Yeah, crazy. I saw the roll he was packing. I haven't got any money. You're lying. Damn Student Loan Association. He was loaded. He must have ditched it somewhere. Now you've done it. I knew this guy was carrying a fat roll. And some bagels, yeah, yeah, too. Yeah, sure. You get yourself a pair of glasses. All that work for nothing. Don't cheapen Come the moment. On. Kidnap, the Frank Sinatra Jr. story. <gasps> it's Jesus. Maybe not. In Oxford? Oh. Ugh, oh, good heft. Mm. Hey, guys, look what I just found. I'm going to put him in my room and pose him. And thus, the passenger train is born. Got me there. The girl in lover's lane with Jackie Lamb, not Jack La Lane. Not La Lane. And lots of actors. There's no time to name. A screenplay by Joe Himes, that's pretty lame. The entire crew feels a sense of shame. If only they had half a brain, they could attain a measure of fame. 
from a film like Shane. But no, to their disdain, the girl in lover's lane. The girl in lover's lane. Wake up, Snowball. The credits are over. Hey, I'm in here. Do you mind? You got a weak job, boy. Hmm? They hardly touched you. No, I'm kind of a film. My friends call me Wormy. Hmm? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. Where's my certs? I meet a new hobo and I have bad breath. Christina's world. You got something that belongs to me. Well, I guess maybe we got something to talk about. Well, that'll make the time go fast. I want that wallet. Is that okay? You want to take it from me? Nah, you'll probably just clobber me no, and I'll wake up six so. hours later then. I watched you out there, kid. You were scared. Real scared. You're scared right now. Really quite scared. Tell you what. Don't hit me. I gave you a car fare home. I'm not going home. Well, where are you headed? That's my business. But mm -hmm. well, you don't seem to understand, kid. You're out of business. You're under bankruptcy protection from the court. Hey, well, you had a hundred bucks here. How come you're hopping freights? It's kind of hard to hop a plane. Well, you aren't used to traveling this way. This is something new to you. Well, you don't even know how to handle yourself yet. I got separated from my band trip, okay? You mean what? Meaning you don't know how to hang on to what's yours. If I give this back to you, somebody else will just take it away again. A good idea. You better hang on to my clothes then, too. What's your name, kid? Sex Poodle. Oh. Danny. Danny Winslow. Big Stupid. Big Stupid? Mr. Stupid, can I have my wallet back now? War torn Wisconsin. Ah. Wow, you got me a wallet and I just lost mine. You said you'd stole it out of Captain. How does that make you feel? Well, you better get some sleep, Danny boy. I can't sleep now. I'm too excited. I think maybe you got a long way to go. And I'm gonna take you there. Hey, I call it top bunk. <laughs> hey, are we bond for glory right now, Mr. Big Stupid? Rail, rail against the dying of the lights. Rail. <laughs> you were incredible. Biggs? Can I have a glass of water? Are you asleep? Yeah. I'm thinking. Can we snuggle? Don't you weaken the team. I wrote a poem about you while you were sleeping. Going, Dix. Back to sleep. I'm serious. Wake up and talk to me. Where are you headed? This is getting weird. Mm -hmm. Wherever this train's headed, I ain't particular. Well, should we call ahead and make reservations? That's what I thought. I've got an idea. Toaster pastries. Congratulations. Uh, Bix, don't laugh at my footy pajamas when I put them on, okay? All right. Hop on. What do you want to talk about? Well, I was thinking about changing the part in my hair. Well, I was just thinking. Since you don't care where you go just so long as you keep moving, why can't we travel together? I killed a bunch of drifters and you could be next. Well, for one thing, you got a hundred bucks, kid. I don't know whether you know it or not, but a professional vagrant don't make much money. Well, the money will be my part of the deal. You'll bring a sense of style. I... I'd just like to have someone to go with. And I'll give you ten dollars every time you don't hit me. It's your loop, man. I guess we're stuck with each other. Hmm. Dear Diary, I think I'm finally becoming a real vagrant. Big Stupid says he's gonna teach me the ins and outs of drifting. My age, I gotta be a mother. Hey, this boxcar's enormous. Would you move, Danny? 
Uh, uh, camera three, get off the track. Camera three, oh, dear God! I woke up and you were there. I hate that. What's the matter? Mm, seven minutes late. Raccoon on the tracks at Brixton. Enough, and they're probably stopping for water. Is that bad when they stop for water? Would you want me to get you some water, Bix? Is water well, a Shut up, Danny. Oh. Hold me. Hmm. Oh, it's just as I dreamed it would be. Looks like we're about a mile from town. Better get off here. <laughs> Never mind. Why don't we just take the train all the way in? Sure, all the way in and right to jail. Did you buy a ticket for this joyride? She's slowing down. Come on. Mr. Big Stupid, catch me. Is this right? Am I walking with you right? I'll always remember you, boxcar number 18375620093. Bye-bye. I'd really like to freshen up now. Gee, I thought Vegas would be bigger and shinier. Get off the road, you drifters! Like father, like bum? Think about it, won't you? Is that a girl, my lord, in a flatbed Ford slowing down to take a look at... Oh, no. Hey, I want you to take this kid from me, will ya? Hey, can we stop for biscuits and gravy, big? I think it's that in your keys. What town are we coming to? Funky town. Sherman. Nice little town. I'll say no ifs, ands, or buts. To Moon Junction. <laughs> Laura Petri, no! Laura Petri, yes! Actually, guys, it's Millie Helper. That's real nice, ma'am, but you're still under arrest. See you later, Carrie. You're so very. Hey, train will be in soon. Oh, it's just another freight. It'll still be in soon. Oh, Peggy, not another one. Just a half one. You'll get fat. Johnny isn't complaining. Johnny's pretty wild. Oh. You've been seeing a lot of them lately. Well, he's better than nothing. You haven't tried nothing. You haven't been seeing anybody. You never do. Oh, I can't talk to boys the way you do. That's silly, Carrie. Besides, who has to talk? Oh, I get it. <laughs> oh, look who just walked in. Sherman's answer to the brainless wonder. Hey, it's Abe Lincoln. My pa left a list of things for you to get, Jesse. Some lice shampoo and a comb? You understand what you're to do now. I don't think you're getting through, honey. Try drawing pictures. Hey, what did I say? Yes, I'm talking to you. Yeah, I know. I'd just like to look at you. Oh, wow. Maybe I should leave you two lovebirds alone. No. You're supposed to go down to the store and get your possum supplies, isn't that right? Hmm. Yes, that's right. As a young man, Garrison Keeler was shunned by his friends. Thank you, Jesse. I wish that I was Jesse's girl. He smells like derby canned tamales. Oh, trembling. Am I? I don't ever want to be alone with him. Just the thought of it. Oh, would... stop it, Carrie. For goodness sakes. He's as harmless as a pup. Yeah, Cujo. Everybody knows it. The poor idiot likes you, that's all. It's the way you're dressed. Who wouldn't leer at you? What you need is a man, honey. I know. You'll see. One will come along. They always do. <laughs> that's our midge. <laughs> Green-eyed lady, sexy lady. Well, I had enough of you two. Now get out, out, out! Big, should I have not put my head in the driver's lap? Was that wrong? Look out, Sherman. Here we come. Shut up, Danny. Oh. You ever been here before? Well, small towns are all the same. Seen one, you've seen them all. Well, the zoning's different. I'm hungry. I just got something to eat. Good idea. You're catching on, kid. That was very insightful of you. We're hungry, but I thought of it. You know, you think that could be my new job, Bix? Deciding when to eat? Shut up, Danny. Oh, you won't tell your old man I was late, will you? No, of course not, but... But what? You shouldn't have brought her in here with you. Uh, what's the harm? You know how Pa feels about her. He's told you time and again not to let Sadie in here. How's he gonna know unless you tell him? Let me worry about it. Hey, Mayo, kiss my grades. Hey, um, don't ever say that again. Okay, what'll it be? Well, first, a little respect. We ain't bumming a meal. Ooh. Oh, money man, huh? Well, now, ain't that interesting. You're gonna have to excuse the looks of this place. We ain't used to catering to the carriage trade. 
Well, do you think you could get back here with a menu before the food goes bad? Food's bad Girl, already. Wait on you, bud. <laughs> Is this a sad cafe? Why not sit and wait on those clowns? Right. <laughs> Hi, Midge. Can I start you out with some grilled mahi mahi and a grapefruit cream sauce? Don't fall in love with us, baby. We'll hurt you every time. Well, have you made up your minds yet? Have I ever? Dive, dive, hold in the order. Well, I'll have uh, scrambled eggs and coffee. Okay, you want juice, salad, roll, grapefruit half, or pudding? Hmm? Rosie, the early years. I didn't think life could get any worse. I'm gonna go turn on the gas. I've got a feeling you're spending the rest of our money right here. You're not ready for quips yet, Danny. Well, now, what I got in mind, Danny boy, shouldn't cost me. Uh, we're drifters, you? Hmm? Oh, you have your food already. How'd you do that? Should I use a fork, Bix? Hey, you're new in town, ain't you, honey? Yeah. The open road is our home, ma'am. Well, come on over. Sadie wants to talk to you. And suddenly this is rain. Sit down, baby. I like the welcome wagon here. Tell me all about yourself. Well, I don't have any bones. I'm just cartilage. And, uh... Well, can I tempt you with some dessert? Sorry about that earlier uh, sexism thing there. Is she wiping his lap? No. Hey, Mr. Spot. What's your name, honey? Carrie. I'm so Carrie very. Rogers. Bet you have a lot of boyfriends. Pretty girl like you. No, I'm saving myself for the right oily drifter. Condiment man, get your condiments. Just. Ah, oh, we hit a wrinkle in time. The delivery man always rings twice. That's an unusual odor. See one of them. One of what? One of your boyfriends. Oh, no, that's Jesse. He does odd jobs around town. Very odd jobs. You know, you're a beautiful girl, Carrie. You're so very. Bet you've got a yellow dress. And yellow eyes. Ruffles on it or something. Rumbles? You're making fun of me. No. Oh. Hey, why don't you put that dress on tonight? You and me will go for a walk. Maybe take in a movie. I'd like that. Will you have to be well, there? I don't know your name. Uh, Bix. And I'm Danny. What time you get off? Eight. I pick you up here? Yeah, I live under the counter, so I'll be right here. Daddy, there's a drifter outside. Daddy. Get out of my underwear. That's a nice name. Where you staying, kid? In a boxcar on the edge of town, ma'am. Save it, honey. There ain't no business here. Now, wait a minute. Besides, he's only a kid. He wouldn't appreciate it anyway. Listen, you. Cut it out, Bix. It's nice to meet someone with manners for a change. So now your day's complete. Let's have more breakfast. No, I don't want to catch you messing around with my friend here. I got no manners. Pay the check, Tiger. Grr, I'm going to pay the check now, grr. <laughs> Come on, pay it. OK, mm -hmm. what's 10% of 79 cents? Why'd you keep calling me John? Oh, wow. Hey, Kamba, could you do that music again? Yeah, good. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Joel Robinson, and there's nothing that sets my heart a wandering like the sound of a train whistle, Tom. The call to the open road, the urge to check it all and hop a freight train is one of the most romantic notions of the century, bro. That's why we've decided to write our own train songs. We hope it brings out the same traveling vagabond everywhere I hang my hat is home spirit in you, Joel, if you will. Thank you, Crow T. Guthrie. I hear that train coming, coming round the hill. I hope that is my train. I'd better check my schedule. Oops, that was the train to Appleton, but it's going to Circle Pines. Yeehaw! And I've got about 20 minutes to kill. It's a good thing I brought some magazines. Huh? 
been riding on this old train, been riding it all night. I think I'll go to the club car and get myself a bite. Mm, this tuna melt sandwich really tastes quite nice. Oh, I got sesame seeds in the bun. Plus, it comes with coleslaw and a pickle, and I must say it's reasonably priced. Corolla. 515 from Duluth, oh my, it's just derailed. The toxic waste is spilling, the conductor's been impaled. The benzene cloud has risen, and the whole time starting to call. <coughs> Within a matter of days, all of our skin will fall off. Oh, I'm gonna pick one now. Okay. Uh, you, uh, well, you know, uh, Cambot, could you? Yeah. You know, guys, I, uh, I get the feeling we're not really cut out to do train songs after all. I really think that being who we are in space and all, we're a lot better at suited at singing about being in cars. Mm. I don't know about this. Please, Pa, we're just going for a walk. Yes, I know. But after all, he's a stranger. What do you know about him? He's a drifter. Here one minute, gone the next. He's wearing a stomach sock. I don't want anything Ooh. to happen to you, honey. I'm kind of fond of you. Pa, he's the first boy I've seen that I want to go out with. And I'm approaching menopause, for Pete's know. sake. Well, he's kind of easy to talk to. Your grandmother's easy to talk to. Take a walk with her. Please. It's important to me. It's hard to tell if he combs his hair forwards or backwards. Mm. He's got six fingers! <laughs> it's Larry and Belky's apartment! Oh. I like watching you You're shave, Big. Mistake. She's not that kind of girl. Oh, grow up. You didn't fall for that shy routine, did you? You're not gonna pick Mike your nose again, are you? Seven. Still got an hour to kill. Maybe I'll kill you. Hey, let's check the action in this town, huh? Right? Oh, that's the closet, Big. Let's drop by Barton Fink's for a drink. Oh, Danny, about all that loot you've got pad in your pocket. What about it? Well, me with all my experience, don't you think I ought to kind of look after it? No, I'll hold on to it. What's the matter, don't an honest face count for nothing? Yeah, no response needed, come on. Nobody trusts nobody anymore. You got your key? Oh, come on, Big. We've been by the appliance store three times now. There's nothing going on. How's your game, Danny boy? I never played pool. You never played pool? Didn't they teach you nothing at home? Anything. Come on, follow me. Hey, it's the Catholic Teen Center. Are we going to hustle these men, Big? Change for 50, please. The color of Danny. Did his head just turn into a big sucker? What are you trying to do, buy the place? Just break the 50, huh? Well, that was a lot of money back in those days. He probably could have bought the place. How do you want it? Two twenties, a five, four ones, and some change. Oh, wait, make that three twenties. Uh, listen, why don't I just save you the trouble and give these guys the money? <laughs> two twenties, a five, one, two, three, four, change. You got it, buddy. Yeah, uh, you got pull tabs here. Oh, hi. <laughs> well, rack them up and call the ambulance. So this is pool, huh? I cut my teeth on these babies. I'm sorry. Hey, you know, we never knew how to work this thing before. Watch him close, you guys. He's an expert. Hey, there's Squiggy. <laughs> never mind then, go ahead and play. I am Xenon, play me. Never mind us. Let's prove how good a champ you are. Is this the way it's gonna be, ma'am? Yes, no, pass. Friend, you're carrying a lot of money. Yes, we are, thank you very much. Why don't you use some of it to prove how good you are? Let's go get a snow well, I ain't cone. a gambler. Me and my friend here are just killing a little time. So why don't you take your kindergarten and blow? Oof, my tomacological region. Sure. We'll cut out. Well, that was awkward. Hey, do you guys know anything about that prostitute lady? No? Hmm. 
streets get awful dark. Be careful when you leave here, huh? Thanks. Safe home to you, too. <laughs> the tension in the air is palpable. Why do you drive people away, big stupid? Do they mean what I think they mean? That it's dark outside? What's that, Danny boy? They'll be waiting for us outside, is that it? That's the message I got. Is it okay that I wet my pants? Well, what do we do about it? Well, I think maybe we should just run! Bix? Bix, you Well, let me see. You want to look on the dark side? We get killed and they get our loot. And being in a state of mortal sin, we go straight to hell. On the bright side, we keep our loot. But we get killed anyway. I think I see where you're going with this. Any way you look at it, Danny boy, looks like we're going to get our heads bashed in. Well, is there another mentor around here like you? I'm uh, just reading Kathy. Oh. Leave me out of it. Bix, uh, will you change me? Why do we have to fight if we don't want to? Testosterone. Why can't we just love? Because that's the way things are, kid. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I told you once, it ain't easy to hold on to what's yours. Sometimes you got to fight for it. Well, we better not keep them waiting. Yeah, they might get angry and hit us. Yes. Well, now let's get down to business. Okay. There's four of them. And one of you. Come here. Go. Oh, what I'm going to do, C, is I'm going to kill you and strap you around my body for armor. Two of us. That just don't come out right. What's so funny? Well, any way you look at it, we're going to get killed. Hmm. I don't want to be a hobo. I want to be a nurse. Uh, I forgot my comb. Comb over here. Oh, uh, which one of you is big stupid? George says to tell you he'll make a deal. I'll give you five dollars if you get a hard-boiled egg in your purse. Hand over the wallet nice and peaceful, and you can walk out of here the same way you came in. Well, no, that don't make sense. I thought it didn't sound right. We give right. you our wallet, we go out of here flat broke. And man, that ain't the way we came in. Is that your answer then? That's it, Sonny. Okay. All right. Well, I'll just uh, let let's. Uh, I'm gonna let Jerry know, and I'll I'll get back to you. Okay. I think he likes me. Can I have change for a fifty? What a dummy! Come on. Yo, yeah, boy. Come on, Danny. There you go. Uh, sir, can you change this back into a fifty? Well, I didn't expect to spend the whole 50 bucks in there. We're flat broke now. They got away. That was brilliant. Certainly not worth mugging us for um, 75 cents. The dark side of Mayberry. Yeah, if Andy were here, he'd out with them with some homespun wisdom. I'd feel sorry for the unfortunate mugger who mugged us. Hey, um... What's the downside of running again, Big? Really good show tonight with two pairs of you. Really good. See this alley? That's where you're gonna die. Pay attention. How? See this alley? Yeah. Well, this is where it'll be then. Now, you do like I say Ow. and you'll save a few teeth. Remember, folks, a backhand will knock him cold for hours. <laughs> hey, it's got all the furnishings from their boxcar. Hmm. What? You're not doing what the hell you've got? Stop it. I'll get a tricorder reading, Captain. Meow. Meow. Frankie Valley and the Four Seasons of the Apocalypse. <laughs> I give him a manicure to never forget. Oh, this is the alley where Fonzie was introduced. Hey. Sit on it. <laughs> plop, plop. Fist, fist. Oh, what a Where's fight it is. I don't know. I can't see it. What are you waiting for, Danny? But don't hurt me. I have this glass jaw thingy. <laughs> Danny likes you, mister. Oh, look out. Look out. I dropped my thing. Okay, I got it. Okay. Spartacus. Frodo is in one of those barrels. Well, that smacks of Tolkienism. 
Watch out for the recycling. Oh. Uh, he's trying to uncomfortable him to death. Well, he looks good in a choker. Oh, oh Daddy, please help, help, Daddy, help, 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 help. Must save Spock. What's that little guy doing in there? Crosby, Stills, Nash, and Young have creative differences. Long may you punch. It's Donny Most and Joel Gray in a fight to the death. You guys need anything in there? The cross and the switchblade. Mom! What were you doing down there, kid? Come on, kid. Let's get back to the room and get you fixed up. What about your day? Oh, forget it. Ain't that important? Hmm? Hmm. Now, wait a sec. I'm just gonna pop this. There. Man, have you got a lot to learn. Hold still. Now, the idea is to keep your face away from his fist. Not put it out there where he can find it. Guess I'm not much of a fighter. Well, what are you whispering for? It ain't no secret. How about that guy grinding the knee? You know, first thing in the morning, we're gonna have to get some new clothes. The sheriff sees us in these rags, he'll throw us in jail for vagrancy. Is that constitutional? Vicks. Yeah? Any more of those fly bars left? I was scared. If you hadn't have been there, I would have run. I almost did anyway. What a wuss. Well, we're all scared sometimes, kid. <laughs> when you're in a spotlight tonight, you have two choices. Stay and face it and be afraid, or you can run and be ashamed. It's up to you which is easiest to live with. No, I'll take the latter. That ain't too bad. Plastic surgeon fix you up in no time. Take a look. Uh, so am I supposed to look like a Picasso painting? My dad would never believe this. You two didn't get along so good, huh? Well, sure. He's quite a guy, a lawyer. Well, level with me, kid. What's this back alley trip for? Well, you may as well know I'm the prince from Liechtenstein, Big. He said they were getting a divorce. Dad made it clear it was my fault. Just like that, he said. <laughs> Still 19 years have been a waste of time. <laughs> oh, you can see the string, look. Well, was so you cut out. You ran away. Well, how do you choose between two people who have always seemed like one to you? Ooh. I've never had that problem. I wouldn't know what to tell you. You're on your own on this one, Danny. You're crowding me into a corner. Uh, my Danny, this isn't the answer. My dad's man-to-man -man talks, I couldn't think straight. I had to get away from them. This is not your induction physical, Danny. Maybe without them pushing, I can work things out for myself. Uh, I'm gonna take some money out of the till for booze, okay, honey? We made over five dollars today. That's a lot for these days. Uh, nine o'clock, business goes under. Yeah. Yeah. Your dad's a lawyer. Does he make good money? He's always been able to give me whatever I wanted, within reason. Tell me another story, Big. I guess you'd say we're as close as a guy and his dad can be. Big, was it something I said in the fight? What's funny now? Sounds like my old man. We were real close, too. Took me everywhere he went. I knew every beer joint in town by the time I was eight. That's somebody's ideal childhood. He gave me a lot of things, too. Mostly his fist to my face. Did he swing it or just place it there gently? Well, I'm gonna go continue the cycle. Oh, I know these kind of guys, honey. He's a drifter. They never stay put very long. He might have left town last night. Here's the lunch rush. Shall I? No, Pa, I'll take the order. Back off, Daddy's mine. Hi, Carrie. Hi. 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 How you doing? What are you going to have? Well, I don't know. What do you got? Anger and resentment. I waited for you last night. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> well, well, something <coughs> came up out of nowhere, and... I had a trans-species experience last night. all over his face. <sighs> oh. Hey, no kidding, Carrie. I'm sorry. Let's make it for tonight, what do you say? Same time? All right, tonight.
Sucker. Hi. 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 Can you imagine? What? Two hours I waited for him last night. Oh, what are you talking Johnny, about? Johnny, who else? Two hours I wait and he doesn't even show up. Mm. Honestly, Carrie, sometimes I don't even... Ixnay, Yelly May. I did it again, pig. Hello there. Uh, hi, uh, right Peggy, back at you. Uh, this is Bix, and this is, um... Uh... Oh, this is Dan. Hi. Uh. You're kind of cute for a boy. Mm. What happened to your face? What happened to my oh, face, big stupid? Uh, shaving. And the moment collapses. You got a dime? Tuh. Sure. I got 5,000 dimes. Follow me. Uh, do you like Aqualung? Leather coat. You aren't mad about last night, are you? No. Good. You can walk over me anytime. Hey, don't forget that yellow dress. The one with the ruffles. Oh, and bring some french fries, too. Might even take you dancing. Honest? Sure. Gee, Get a portable thanks. Ring. Good, bring it along. I still don't approve. Who is that character back there? You keep staring at me. Oh, Lester oh, Flat. That's my father. Oh, 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 look at the time. I'm doing Omaha at Come five. On, <laughs> See you later. So basically, the plan is to get him to ask for change for the pinball machine, yep. then threaten him, yep. and then we beat the snot out of him like in the movie, right? Well, yeah, I guess that's it in a nutshell. That's beautiful, Tom. <laughs> Thank uh, you. But what if he doesn't fall for it? <laughs> Are you kidding? It's like an overgrown child. He's practically got rube sewn into the back of his underwear. <laughs> yeah. He's the poster child for naivete. <laughs> oh, oh psh, here he comes. Oh, oh. oh, hi, bros. Hey, my old pinball machine. Yeah. <laughs> Want to play? Yeah, no. Uh, what else uh, is going on? Duke! Nothing, Joel, not a thing. We used our tricorders to scan the SOL for entertainment potential, and the pinball machine is the only thing that even moved the meter. Yeah. Well, uh, you guys know best. <laughs> Poor dope. Uh, what's that? <laughs> uh, I said, do you need any quarters? Yeah, uh, you know, actually, I don't have any money. Let's just forget it. I'll give you $50. Need change? <laughs> uh, Crow, this doesn't have any connection to that weird beating scene in today's film, does it? <laughs> No, I mean, jeez, I can't believe, jeez, Joel, I mean, what would make you think that? It's just that, jeez. Yeah, yeah, right, like, like, hey, Servo, let's drag the pinball machine on deck and get Joel to ask for change for his 50 and then hot file him by a bunch of crates we set up to look like the alley. Yeah, right. Jeez, uh, you believe this guy? Jeez. Well, uh, if it's all right with you, then I'll just borrow one of your quarters and uh, play a game no, here. No, of okay. course, go ahead. <laughs> That's right, though, what do you think it's there for? <laughs> Uh, Joel? Uh, yeah? Uh, you're not gonna take that $50 and come into our mock alley set and let us hogpile you and snag on you and stuff, are you? Uh, no. Uh, okay, I'll be right back. Really? Joel? Uh, yeah, honey. You're absolutely sure? Yeah. Okay, well, then we're just gonna have to hogpile you here, sir! Well, let's get it! <laughs> well, sorry, we had to use the Mr. Ed set. What's wrong? What I do now? Don't. Women. You brought your tackle box. No wonder I'm upset. So, this is Bass Lake, huh? My dress. It's blue. I don't have a yellow dress. I tried to make it yellow with my mind, but I and got there tired. Isn't a ruffle on it anywhere. Yeah, I'm out of here. Best dress I've got. Third inning here, and Don Drysdale is playing the Come game here. of his life. Come on, sit down here. Come on, move it. I haven't got all day. No, oh, feels like swollen glands. Mm -hmm. Then. 
Well, I think we found our girl in Lover's Lane. <laughs> Pa doesn't know very much about girls' clothes. There's so much you could say to that. You got that. a boyfriend? Somebody special? I no. thought you were going to be him. I don't know any boys, really. I mean, really know them. You know, her neck looks like Randy Johnson's from the Seattle Mariners. Hmm? I don't get it. Yeah, me neither. What? I love the rings they make when they hit the water. Yeah, rings, right. <laughs> that rings thing really bugs me. It'll be you, me, and the moon. You wear a necktie, so I'll know you. <laughs> oh, this is a great date. I always wanted to be nuzzled by a hobo. Mm -hmm. You smell like hash browns. Don't you dare mark me. Well, where the heck did your lips go? Oh, there we go. Remember, make the tongue the reward, not the rule. Oh, forgive me for responding to you. So when a man says no, he means yes, right? Well... You know why I brought you out here? But to get to my father. You got any idea? Uh, for my tater tot hot dish recipe? Uh, to talk about hockey? No, you wouldn't. Uh, because you like shoes? Uh, Come on, can I take you home? Okay. Sorry about being warm, tender, and accommodating. Just a little dart from the Coca-Cola company. Is, uh, Pa still here? In the back. He's making that special sauce. Well, if it isn't little Danny's mother. <laughs> now, I don't think the kid will need a mother anymore. I think maybe tonight he becomes a man. Yeah, how'd you figure that out? Sadie was in here earlier. Said something about a bar mitzvah. Ain't she kind of robbing the cradle? He ain't no cradle tonight, friend. Oh, well, the meatloaf's good. Did you hear me? Where'd she take him? Hey, what's this all about? This guy's nuts, Cal. Well, what's going on here? This bum set my friend over that Sadie dame, and now he can't remember where she lives. Sadie? How many times? Oh. She lives around the corner, 933 Elm Street. Third bedroom on the left, pink lingerie hanging. <gasps> Pete, you're through. No more excuses. Just get up. You'll never serve lunch in this town again. That's the last time I hire a pimp. Oh. Bill Haley! No. <laughs> you know what? Just found out this place is a brothel. <laughs> Believe it? <laughs> well, I'll have what he's having. It's Unforgiven Meats making the grade. Hey, Edith Brickell's in there. And why is she singing the theme to the Six Million Dollar Man? I don't think it's a good that's... show. But what I wouldn't give to be Mr. Bubble right now. <laughs> well, what's your problem? Sorry. Wrong room. Melanie Griffin? Are you waiting for a bus? I said, well... Get the heck out of here. Hey, wait a sec. Bring Mommy a beer. I'll be right out. Uh -huh. Why do they have a bathtub in the sitting room? Well, turn your back. Oh. Done. Now, what did I come in here for, Danny? <laughs> now, that really appeals to purient interest. Naked floor. Hmm. Well, hello there, tassel feet. Joe, when I grow up, I want to be a drifter. How does that towel stay in place? Nice shirt. Are you in the wrong room now? <laughs> I've never been in a writer room in my life. I don't know. If this room is wrong, I don't want to be right. You know what? The problem is that she looks like Kurt Russell in Tango and Cash. No, that takes away from it. Do you know now? Do you take MasterCard? I don't know what room I'm in. This hooker is just prostituting herself. No. 
You know, being with a hooker is just too much of a commitment for him. He can't handle it. Well, I, uh, I'll see you on the way. I'll just check behind this green door. Hey, hello, Mrs. Uh, Prostenton? Danny? Hmm? Hey, she's got a skunk costume. It sounds like UB Blake's in the next room. Hmm. Uh, sir, there's no late seating until intermission. This is getting into a weird area. Cindy Brady all grown up. Hey, a coupon for a Frisco melt. Now, Sadie girl, we both know you ain't that expensive. Oh, you got me. Come on, put all that green back where it belongs. Line? What? What's my line? Well, no, I'm just not getting through to you, am I? Tell you what, take five out for yourself. Cause that's just what you're Some worth. Of the cheap booze you used to get them drunk. Sadie, I hate hitting dames. Oh man, there's so much not to like about this guy. Owie, stingy. You know, back in those days, five bucks was a lot of money. Uh, what's uh, 100 minus 5? Is this your falsy? Talk about dipping into Didn't the Did your mother teach you any better? <laughs> Maybe you ain't dishonest. Maybe you're just illiterate. Now, you look real close. You see, a 2 and an O side by side like that make 20, Sadie girl. Not five. Uh, she's a prostitute. You can't really shame her, okay? Ain't you ashamed? Tears fall like rain. Cocktail? <laughs> Say don't. You know, why do all prostitutes dress like Joan Blondell? I do. Oh, he just broke Danny. Oh. You know, Danny should come with his own tote. You know, once again, Big has saved Danny from a heterosexual experience. I'll uh, just reschedule at the front desk. Here, buddy, let's get to a nice, honest, fresh hooker. Oh, Danny, you're killing me. Ah, oh, they're at the Shady Rest Hotel. Hmm. Uh, I got a stomachache, Big. Oh, he's gonna put Danny down for a nap. Oh, nappy. Yeah. Read me Stinky Cheesehead Man, okay? Come back to bed, honey. Oh. You know, this guy's life would have been a lot simpler if he would have just lost his wallet and gone home. Yeah, yeah pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> I could have ended up like Bob Crane. <laughs> oh, it won't hurt to try. Now look, honey. Please. All right, I'll think. Uh, you know, I'm shrinking at an alarming rate over here. Good morning, boys. Everything work out OK last Did night? Did you meet my brother, George? Yeah. I, uh, let Pete go. I don't hold with that kind of thing in my place. Yeah. I'll be kind of sure to help for a while. Hey, he's got a TV's Frank Curl. Well, scrambled eggs mm. and coffee. I love penicillin. Me too. Mm. Sure. Uh, stop the music, my eggs are cold. <laughs> he said they'll have scrambled eggs and coffee. Ask him, Paul. Go on, ask him. Ah, uh, would you please go out with my daughter? Nice day. For a white wedding. Is he coming on to us, big stupid? Psst, don't order the toast. The toast. Don't ouch. You know, their drifting career is yeah. really stalled. Be just me and Carrie now for a while. Sure could use somebody to help out. I'll be in Vegas next week with Scott Thorson. I don't suppose you'd be interested in working for a spell. Me? I get cold sweats at the thought of it. <laughs> Why don't you, Bix? We're getting kind of low on money. We'll manage. What about our nest egg? We didn't plan on hanging around. Hey, it's the Cam-A lady. Hmm. You, uh, really stuck? Yeah. He's got a gull-wing toupee. <laughs> Wormhole. Five years later. 
Pig, where are the kids? <laughs> I just felt a chill of horror, honey. How about some of those good powder milk biscuits? Heavens are tasty. Mm. What is it with this creepy as you're shaking like a leaf? Why? I don't like him, and I guess he knows it. He's always trying to touch me. Well, you are one of three women in town. Well, wait, I don't see if you'd like to touch me. So you want to... But hey, don't touch me! He looks like a gargoyle. What do you have? Antagonist special. I want the girl to wait on me. She's busy. I'll take your order. I want the girl. I said she's busy. Well, will you put on a dress and say, may I help you? I'll come back when she ain't. You know, this new waiter's just killing their business. Mm. Oof, what an odor. Urine and uh, Brussels sprouts, maybe? You better get ready to go. I'll take you home. OK. Leaving? Yep. It's all yours, Danny boy. Take over. You're all by myself in here. I'm stepping into a pretty big apron here. <gasps> Eric Carmen? No, you won't. Oh. Well, uh, enjoy yourself. You get a minute, you might wait on the customers, too. <laughs> uh-huh. All both of them? You got a dime? <laughs> you know, back then, a dime was like having a thousand dollars. Yeah. They're in the land of the laws. Watch out for slee stacks. Romance strikes Biosphere 2. I like it here on Omicron City 3, Jim. Big, you have a job now. Could we maybe go to a movie or something? I've never been out of Sherman. Well, it ain't the world. There's a lot more than this. I guess you've been about most every place there is. Yeah, just about. Seen it from the inside of a boxcar, but just about. There are your damn rings. Hey, you want a bath? Gee, I've never had a bath oh. before. Oh, no, Come on. you wouldn't. Come on. No! Come on. No! <laughs> oh, I think I broke my ankle. Green stick, too. <laughs> don't you ever get tired? I mean, don't you ever feel like you want to stop? And do what? Well, stop and stay put someplace. The person's got to belong somewhere, doesn't he? But nobody doesn't belong to Sara Lee. You see that? Boom, Mike. Picks up everything we say. If over my head for so long, I wouldn't know no other kind. Well, that is so out there. Mm -hmm. You get kind of lonesome sometimes, don't you, Carrie? Yeah, but I just throw myself at a hobo and... Yeah, I kind of figure uh, I'll do the talking. Don't let it get you. Someday some guy's going to come to town and pick you out over everybody else. Over Millie and the prostitutes? Sure. Well, before you know it, you'll be in love. Well, Super Sugar Chris. Well, you need to be in love with some guy. The right guy. Lou. The right guy, Lou. How will I know? If he really loves me. Beats me, I ain't no expert. Well, then quit giving out free advice. Mm -hmm. Well, come on, kid. You better take me home. I can't get my mind off the rings. Really love the rings. I need the rings. The rings. The rings. <laughs> Have you ever been in love? Well, I liked a cat once. No. Never stayed in one place long enough. Never wanted to. I'm all screwed up inside. Come on, kid. I'll take you home. It's getting late. Would you stop calling me kid and taking oh, me home? My blouse, it's caught. Well, I gotta go. I'll see you. You mean you can't move? No, it's caught on. Oh, well, 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 well. Well, this is a very interesting situation here. <laughs> Well, now that you're half undressed, how about that bath now? Oh, no. Big Caesar is half undressed. I see her as 90% dressed. Is this the way it happens? Well, usually there's dinner and a movie, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Big, do you have a sewing kit? Oh. oh, it's the stage manager from our town. Nice. Uh, she's still busy. Can she wait on me? He's actually one of the better dressed men in this town. Mm -hmm. The British are coming, the British are coming. 
Well, here we are, 2615 Lover's Lane. I can see Pa's home. Pa, 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 Pa! I didn't think he'd be home this early. Where's he been? Nate Cummings' son is getting married. They had a bachelor party for him. Sounds wild. Well. Wow. If it isn't the great drifters, king of the hobos. Get to have a nice time? Yes, Paul. Looks like you did, too. Oh, you know me, honey. I never drink much. Yeah, let's see a drift drifter. Good night, Bix. Yeah. Well, are you mad? You gonna hit, hit me, drifter? Drunk. You're drunk. Yeah, Mr. Judge Mantle over there. Took a freight train from Kansas City, and you're something special. <laughs> you know, Big Stupid is not a very appealing leading man. Oh, uh, he got me there. I'm drunk, all right. I am out of ammo on that one. Yeah, I'm gonna go dry walk around the front window in my underwear. <laughs> you're drunk, too. What's up? Nothing. Big, I blew my paycheck on another prostitute. Sorry. Did you have a fight with Carrie? No. You? Looks like Blue Boy at the dinner table up there. Cal Anders. He was drunk. Oh, not that. He smelled like my old man. Here it comes. Even looked like him. My old man. I think I'll keep him. <laughs> he used to work me over regular every time he got drunk. He got drunk every day. So he worked me over every day as the point. Got to be routine. It would, wouldn't it? He didn't slug me when he came home. I thought he was sick. Was he? One night I hit him back. Hmm. He fell down and he never got up again. Hmm. He was so full of booze, he drowned in it. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I killed him. Uh, my dad missed parents night at Glee Club. Uh, the doc said the fall had nothing to do with it. He, so I killed him too. His heart just gave out. But you said you killed him. Huh. I did. I pulled his heart out and made it stop. I wished him dead. So how was your day? Well, once I ate a whole pack of snowballs and I vomited in the back seat. It was okay. She's nude. Cheese, everybody. Cheese. They're losing their will Thank to you. drift. Eat it all, kids. I made it with my own two dirty hands. <laughs> I bet you've got a lot of hidden talent. I don't keep nothing hidden. It all shows. Yeah. Yeah. No. Now, uh, what do you give me for it? What do you want? If you have to ask, forget it, tiger. Right, here's your dang dime. Cannonball. Ooh. Well, time to drift. Got drifting in my blood, you know. What's the matter? Nothing. I'll be right back. I have to wipe them. <laughs> Your heart's showing. I should plug that hole. He's leaving soon. I know he is. Mm. So, he leaves and another guy comes along. <laughs> What's the problem? You go to the doctor, you I... get some shots. Uh, I love him, Peggy. Do you? It sounds like the Robbie That's Douglas That's your mistake. Yeah. There's no such animal. What is she, Lydia Lunch over here? Danny? You have a weird body. You homesick, kid? I guess they're pretty worried about me by now. Ain't hard to make a phone call. The operator does all the work. No, not yet. I, I'm not ready yet. For me, we ought to be moving on. She's kind of stuck on you. Yeah, she's stuck on another branch. So, well, maybe you're stuck on her, too. Now, look, bright boy, you start playing cute, but I'm going to throw you to the fish. <laughs> Bluegill scare me. Move on. We could stay here for a while. No, we'll leave at the end of the week, just like we planned. Whoa, just cut my thumb off. Oh, gee. We've been here too long already. Man, I don't know what the problem is. Maybe the three bean salad. <laughs> Throw sand on it. Gee. Hey, you two, how about a swim? Oh, not yet, Tiger. You just finished eating. We'll take a walk with you, though. Righty. Coming? How to stuff a weird bikini. Mm -hmm. That was my favorite scene. Here, smell this, will you? Seeing Carrie tonight? No, you take tonight off. Get yourself rolled. But I thought that... Don't. Every time you think, it gives me a headache. Hmm. Seems to me you ought to tell her then. You should get a funnel. She's not like other girls. You ought to tell her we're leaving soon. Most girls you can just use. I'll be in the back. I have some supplies to unpack. Yeah, my heartbreaking tools came in. Mm -hmm. <gasps> I got a customer. Oh, what do I do? What do I do? Stay calm. Stay calm. Pervert burger. You by yourself, kid? Yeah. Where's the girl? Carrie. 
She... Think, man. She left early tonight. She entered the witness protection program. I was uh, kind of wondering when you and your partner are going to leave. You know, in this town, we don't like people coming in and taking things that ain't theirs. Call us persnickety. You know what I mean? <laughs> Let me get you some Mexi skins. Hi. 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 Bye. Ammonia? Gla grass clippings? What is that odor? What is it with this creep? Every time he shows up, somebody gets the jitters. I don't know. There's something about him. His eyes. His overpowering stench. He's not the harmless idiot they think he is. I am. What do you want? Carrie. This is like a Route 66 episode. I'll take tonight off after all, okay? Sure. I'd hate to meet him in a dark alley some night. What would you do? Run? Oh, that hurt. Why can't you ever support me? I got a hankering to humiliate a drunk dad. Oh, hi. Has Foster Brooks stumbled out of bed yet? Hi. Where are you going? I've got a lot in my mind. I thought I'd take a walk. Hey, will you show me the thing with Can the I egg and the pop bottle again? Come on. Nice. Okay, now, Tom, I don't want you doing this on your own, okay? Okay. Now, exactly what's going to happen again? <laughs> well, what happens is the fire burns up all the oxygen in the bottle and creates a vacuum. Oh, and then the egg gets sucked down into the bottle. Cool. Yeah. What a neat experience. I'm Jack Elam. It says here in the Weebelow's handbook that it should take about two or three minutes. Mm -hmm. Now, look, it's Jack Elam. Place egg on top of, oh, hi. Nice Jack Elam costume, bro. Hey. Egg will slip in the bottle. Huh. So, has it done it yet? Uh, no. Here are the goods you ordered. No, no, don't, don't bump the desk, the egg. Uh, don't talk to me. I only want to deal with Gypsy. She around? Uh, Crow, we get that you're dressed like Jack Elam, okay? Not just dressed like Am Elam. Am Jack Elam to live like the Elam. The egg's moving! It, it is? Uh, no, I guess not. Oh. Look, look, look at me. Look at me a sec. Look, look, look. I'll do that bouncy thing he does. You guys are a tough crowd. Worked a long time on this. It's great, Crow. You really look like him. Yeah, Crow, but maybe you look a little too much like yeah. Jack Elam. Hmm? Yeah, well, maybe I do, Servo. What's wrong with that, huh? Jack Elam was a brilliant character actor. For all I know, he still is. And and you know what? I've never been as Jack Elam as I am at this moment. I am Jack Elam, that I don't need your pity. Yes, you do. What are you saying, that I'm a total failure? No, I'm saying that you're a total failure and you look like Jack Elam. Oh, you guys don't appreciate <laughs> me. On, let's go. We got commercial sign okay, and we got to okay. get a new okay. egg. Oh, pardon right. me, Crow. Oh, Excuse me. Oh, oh. Oh. Whoa. I'm not Jack Elam anymore. I don't know, maybe a soft Did boiled egg. Something? Sorry, guys. Do something you didn't like? You're drunk, aren't you? Look, Carrie. You're so very. I don't know how to take you. You say you're going to wear a yellow dress. I don't know what to do with you. I'm a drifter, a nobody. Oh. I ain't the guy you've been waiting for. You ate him? Why? I don't want to hurt you. I like That's you, Daddy. You like? I'm no good for you, Carrie. But I, I, I've never met anyone like you. And if you're lucky, you never will again. Well, you don't know anything. Thanks, I think. Now's the time for you to learn all the nice things. Mm -hmm. I can't teach them to you. I'm book solid. Things you learn from me, you'd be better off never knowing. Like algebra. Yeah. Ask your old man. He's got me pegged right. He knows I don't stay put. I think he'd like you to stay. He said, I like him to stay. Inside of a week, he'd be pushing me around, slapping me down, selling me to foreign dignitaries, making me hit back. Oh, heck, I'll stay. No good, you and me, Carrie. It's just no good. Love should be musky and whiskery and bad. Go on. Before. God, they're time traveling again. Stop it! If I'm something nudie. Something nudie? Then maybe I, I could teach you something, too. How to crinkle cut fries? Good night, Carrie. You're so very. Huh. Hmm? Yeah, how do you like my theme music?
Big Stupid did a great job protecting her. Mm. Jack, no, drop her, drop her. It ain't drop. little Carrie Andrews, Miss Innocence herself. And you can stop play acting because I followed you and Ella up here. Stay away from me, Jesse. Well, he's taking on a Torgo and quality. Very Torgo ass. Stay asses. away from you. And oh, I no, want to just no. Hey, Jack, no. knock it off. No. Knock it off. No. Don't you fool. And don't hurt none. And you can stop pretending you're so lily white. Didn't I tell you I was watching you and him? Stop. 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 Okay, good night, Carrie. Stop. Big stupid to the rescue. My big stupid. Stop him. There hey. we go. Down he goes. Why did I want to be here? Hey, my eye went straight. <laughs> Thanks. Just trying to kiss her. <laughs> she always says, no, no, Jesse. Now Jack has a legitimate beef there. Someday you ain't going to be around. To pick up the pieces when somebody breaks your heart. Well, I'm going to leave you again. He probably won't be back. You'll be fine. Go make some of your dumb rings. What time will you be over tonight? I don't know. I have to check with Danny about something. I'm right here. The time's run out. That's it, isn't it, Biggs? You better go on home. Uh, Danny and I will finish up here. Yeah, finish up here. But I ordered a tuna melt. I, I have a surprise for you. Something I want to show you. I got you that new seven iron. I'll see you later. Later tonight. Are you ever gonna not shoo me away? I counted. We have 87 straws, Big. 87. Mm. Does she know? How should I know? Maybe she does, maybe she doesn't. Mm, good point. Look, Fix, I... I told you we could stay here for a while. At least until you're ready to... I'm ready now, man. Hey, he called me man. Are you... Sure you're doing the right thing? No, ain't this great. You giving me advice. I'm only trying to help. Well, when I need your help, your little punk, I'll whistle for you. What's the matter with you? Whistler's mother. All of a sudden, everybody knows what's good for Bix. Even you. Well, look at you. You can't solve your own problems, but you got mine all figured out. I don't get it. Well, who's asking you to? Third base. Who's asking for any of this? Look, I don't need you, Danny boy. And I don't need her. Don't say me. Don't tied say down me. Before and I'm not going to start now. So get off my back, will you? Go on, get out of here. We're out of French onion soup. I said get out of here. Don't you look at me like that. Go lay down outside. Go lay down. Bill Coon said he'd give us a lift out of town. The truck pulls out at 10 sharp. That's great. You'll be on it. Oh, one last thing. Uh, could you work for me Monday? Oh. Man. Da 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 I had the funniest feeling. It seems to me that you I were... I can't explain it. I was just about to eat a... There's only a half a pound of... It's true then, isn't it? You're a Nazi. We came to say goodbye. Well, you made it easy. See ya. Over the open Eric, road. I don't understand. I don't know what I want. Maybe you're it. I just don't know. Please. Just yes or no. Are you leaving tonight? Are you leaving tonight? Should I come back again? Carrie, listen up. I'll be back. <laughs> but I will. I, I need time. I have to think. I have to go through a visioning process. I tried process. to give you a reason for staying, but you wouldn't let me. Come on, kid. I'll take you home. Oh. All my life, I never belonged to nobody. <laughs> Anybody. I learned to live with it. I even learned to like it. How oh, nice for you. I'll try to understand, Carrie. I didn't want this. I didn't want to get close. It just happened. And I ain't sure if it's for me. Aren't sure. <gasps> She's gonna blow! Maybe I gotta learn what it is to, to need someone. You're stepping on the ball of my foot. Carrie. You're so very. 
So, Danny tells me you killed your dad. I gotta take Danny's sitter home. I'm going back to the Enterprise, Carrie. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. When can I get my last paycheck? Oh, I'll get you later. Trying to make these buildings explode as I walk by, but it's not working. Memories like the corners of my mind. This is where I used to say, I'd better take you home, kid. Sad young girl from Lover's Lane. My battalion's moving out soon. <gasps> Gene Kelly! <gasps> I can't wait any longer. I'm late now. Gotta dance. Gotta dance. <laughs> Something's bothering her. Mm. <laughs> this is where we used to eat dirt. This man could win $5,000! Hey, uh, if you're drunk, it's okay. Shovel your walk? Oh, oh, it's summer, that's right. Well, I'll see if she's out here. Maybe I can call her kid and take her home. Look, a buffalo head nickel. <gasps> Carrie. Have you seen my keys? Carrie, who did it? And do you have someone to cover your shift tomorrow? My dress. It has ruffles on it. Those ruffles have yes. ridges. <laughs> Hold on, I'm still talking about my dress. I love you. <laughs> oh, Edvard Monk is here. I don't know. I just arrived in this film. I'll, I'll go find out. No, no, don't go. Look, you, you stay right here. But your pants. Oh, Gary. Oh, so fickle. Forgive me. For I have sinned, and it's been three weeks since my last confession. Gary, you were right. A guy does have to belong to somebody. I belong to William Conrad. Gary. Oh, Gary. Oh, sorry. Didn't know you were posing for a romance novel. <laughs> We drove onto a movie set. Let's get out of here. What was it? We've got to go get the sheriff. The cafe heiress has been killed. She died. And she was so very... In my arms. You have told me that. Man, they're really packing in the new characters at the end of this movie. Mm -hmm. Well, this is the night. The lights went out in wherever they are. What a night. Late September, back in 63. This has been a peaceful town for 20 years. Yeah. There's going to be trouble. Can't you understand that? Please, I'm brooding. I loved her. I never got a chance to tell her. She has to order more frying medium. She cried. Yeah. Can you beat that, a beautiful thing like her, crying over a slob like me? Listen to me. You're stuck here. Have you ever seen a lynch mob? Uh, in a play once. And what do you think that silence means out there? That everyone's asleep? Listen, when you kill in this town, you get a stern lecture from the sheriff. By morning, that silence will be the loudest noise you've ever heard. Oh, what is it? Huh? She died so easy. Like she'd done it before. It didn't take much. All you had to do was murder her. Now I'm going to be late for the James Drury convention. To dress it. It had ruffles on it. And ridges on She was wearing the yellow dress. I didn't even notice. Until I tried it on. We can and will hold this against you, son. Although it's weird. All right, now, show's over. Well, I checked that whole area up there. Who's? Couldn't find a thing. He tell you anything? I can't reach him. You better put him in a cell. Yeah, I'm going to go home and watch Dorf on Come golf. On, boy. You want the fan of cell tonight? And then we'll have to load the... And I don't envy you that job. Genuine Mausers. Got them from the Kaiser. It's been a long time since we've had to use them. 
Boy, he's just really peeved about this murder. What do you say, Mac? Hi, Bill. Got to dance, Jack. How about checking this right front tire? It feels kind of low. Sure. Feeling mighty low. Well, I guess Sherman's really buzzing with excitement, huh? Sherman Hemsley, he's going to do the Jefferson's Live. Murder in a town that size. What are you talking about? Well, did nah, you hear you about got it? your oh. head up your... Yeah, hmm? my brother-in-law phoned a couple of hours ago and said some girl by the name of Anders was killed. Saw it on Matlock. Carrie Anders. Carrie? Yeah, did you know her? She was my friend's girl. Well, don't worry, they got the punk who did it. Some stranger. They ought to hang the bum. Phil, you got to take me back. Now, look, you know $20. I... $20. I've got to run. 30 Sold, American! Tire okay? Yeah, it's okay. Well, I do got to dance. Relax, kid. You're on your way. Well, Danny sure can charm the older set. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm just so beat from loading all them guns. Huh? Hold it. Hold it right there. What are you going to do? Bring him out. Fanny Ray. Bring him out here now, Tom. Don't do this, Cal. You don't know that he killed Carrie. But what you're doing is murder. Give me the keys. Listen to me. No, you listen He's to me. He's drunk again. Are you going to bring him out here, or do I have to go get him myself? I lost my best waitress. Jim, come out here. Should I draw my... Gu oh. Put him in his cell. Put them both in the cell. <laughs> if you can't afford a lawyer, the court will appoint one for you. Hello, sketches. Think what you're doing. Brandon. I'm sorry I called you drunk a while back. Cow. I'm going to beat you, boy. Beat you till you can't stand up and turn you over to the other. Hey, that sounds. Oh. oh. So you got to believe me. I wouldn't. Get him out. They took there. turns at Big Stupid, and there was three of them. Where's my daily platter? Gotta leave a note for myself. Note to myself. Oh, we got him. We got him. Oh, we got him. Oh, we got him. Whoa, they're taking him way out of town. Mm -hmm. We got him. We got him. We got him. Can't you go any faster? We're doing the limit now. And I got one of them bumper stickers that says, if you don't like my driving, well. I wouldn't hurt her. I loved her. You loved her? That's great. <laughs> She tied you down. That's what you said. I heard you myself. No. no. Carrie's dad really shines in a crisis. Why, mm -hmm. Why did you do it, my beautiful little girl? I knew you were no good. Gollum. Gollum. Why don't you hit back? Hey, that guy's taking credit for my murder. You dirty love. Hey, uh, anybody sitting power. here? Can I squeeze in? Yeah, thanks. Give me a dirty punk. Why? Why did you do it? <laughs> Actually, it's really more ironic than funny, isn't it? I knew you would know. Yeah, that truck looks like an English bulldog. What? Hmm. <laughs> ah, back off, Wormy. What are you doing? Ooh, good wood on that one. Let me through. I said, let me through! Please let me through, I'm a hobo! Get up! Get up! You're fired! Come on, get him up! You think they'll get, get him up? up <laughs> I think I killed your daughter. Oh. Looks like Jack's doing an open stage. <laughs> Jesse. Now Jerome. <laughs> oh, <laughs> gotta go get them pot stickers out of the walk. <laughs> I'm trying to look at nobody. I mean, I'm looking at everybody. Isn't that the trail boss from Wagon Train? <laughs> that sequence is over. Let's get him! Hey. He's at the 20. Good open field tackle. Don't pass out of me now. Not yet. No, 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 no. Don't pass out of me now. He's wrong. Didn't touch her. I didn't touch her. I'll bet you did. Hey, look what I found. It's a Danny O'Day dummy. You get over there and tell them what you did. I didn't touch her. I didn't mean to kill her. <laughs> Nobody can say they coerced it out of him. She was trying to scream. I didn't mean to kill her. Well, I didn't mean to kill her so much. God of dance. Well, you had to be there. It's <laughs> wonderful. It's marvelous. Moses, supposes, histosis, and roses. And Moses, supposes, erroneously. Hey, don't you want your $20 in your new suit? Quick, move his head. He may have a spinal injury. If I aim it just right, there. 
We gotta get some more women in this town. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Big, how about a burger with all the trimmings? He's the one. You made a mistake. Hey, somebody wanna grab Jack? Uh, That's a good idea. <laughs> this came in a couple of days ago. I didn't know we had a celebrity in town. You're Scott Thorson. There's the phone boy. Who can I hit you just once? Never got a chance to. I was locked up in here. He should sue him. Because mm -hmm. even if it was just $100 back in those days, a hundred. Yeah. He was wrong. He'll pay for it. Gary's dead. And you almost were. Long distance, please. I'd like to make a collect call to Mr. or Mrs. John Winslow in Larchmont. Tell Danny he'll be back. Sure. He'll be back. Dad? <laughs> It's great to hear your voice, too. Off the freight, met a guy, he got beat up, I got beat up, he met a girl. That's swell, Dad. You're gonna kill the fatted calf? Well, look, it's uh, too long to go into now, but I'm bringing someone home with me. <laughs> a friend. Oh, oh, and he killed his dad, so don't bring that up, okay? Oh, Sid Hartha. <gasps> Black gold Texas tea. I love the rings they make when they hit the water. Hmm? Yeah, well, there you go. Have you ever been in love? Well, I was, but she died. Golly, I'm stupid. I'm dumber than an eight-pound hammer I am. Fix. Fix? No, I'd like to see you in a yellow Come dress on, with ruffles. We're going home. Come to Daddy. And so Bix and Danny left the clam know. float. Stop it. Oh, sorry. One weird ass movie. Yep. See the further adventures of Danny and Pix this fall on NBC. Joel, mm -hmm. Tom and I have been horribly scarred by the way this movie ended, and that means we're filled with rage. <laughs> You guys, you, you, don't, you, you can write a different ending if you want. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's just fiction. I mean, you don't have to accept oh. the ending they hand you. Wow. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, um, oh, oh, just a minor change. What would happen if the nice restaurant woman lived? You think it even occurred to her? <laughs> and instead, Jack Elam is... Uh, Gone. Right. And then Big Stupid and Danny get a grant, and they renovate the cafe. Mm. A real Chili's feel yeah. without all the Chili's crap. Yeah. You know, a fun place for a birthday, Joel. Free hats, prize buckets, you know, hoop de doo dee uh, How's this? Uh, Jack Elam is kidnapped by aliens. Mean aliens. Sure, mean aliens. Yeah, uh, then Big Stupid and his little pal leave that town because they're driftwood, and uh -huh. then the apocalypse happens, Ooh. the dinosaurs roam the land, uh -huh. and they capture dinosaurs, and they tame them, and they ride them like horses, and we see the bond between man and lizard, et cetera, et cetera, uh, and it goes on and on. Bro, are, on aren't on. you getting a little bit away from the movie? Bear with me. Then... There are pygmies. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We yeah. live in a vast pygmy mm. kingdom. Okay, let's uh, read a couple of letters a, here, okay? This one's from Steve Bonko of Uniontown, Ohio. Let's put that on the table. Oh, 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 the pygmies have lain hidden throughout the eons, and they are wise, and they disdain you with their stinking machines. <laughs> okay, and he says, uh, my sister thinks Servo is so cute. What is Gypsy's last name? And oh, 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 I, I got it. The, the pygmies are poison if you touch them, so don't touch them. Okay. Yeah, that would be a mistake, right? Yeah. Yeah. So for the invention this, exchange, you should have a garbage disposal yeah. trash can. So that's uh, from Steve And they, they can tell when you're thinking bad thoughts about them. Mm -hmm. So don't even think about them. You see, because they think about them. Okay, okay. and this one explode. is <laughs> from <laughs> Susie <laughs> Bell to Rochester, New York. She <laughs> sent a picture, put that on. Oh, 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 Okay, okay, what? Oh, then you'll fall in love with a pygmy. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. I love that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Love it. and then she writes, I like the time when you sang Master Ninja theme song. And the moral, you see, is never love a pygmy. Because they're immortal. Yeah. And they can fly, mm -hmm. and you can't fly. So you see, your heart's naturally yeah. broken. Yeah. Because okay, and then she writes, I like your show so much, I give it 100 plus 100 equals 200. Oh, yeah, you see, you see what happens is then the pygmies get a bus, and they drive all the way to Hollywood. 
Florida. Florida. Yeah. Because yeah. 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 they're coming from Hollywood. And uh, yeah, this is originally. from Rebecca Hollywood Appleton, Wisconsin. And she Peter writes, uh, and Dear Joel, it's, it's, Gypsy Tom. Peter Lawford and Peter Laurier were, this, were in this film with them in Hollywood. And then their heads started exploding when they went across the desert and were headed towards Florida. Be uh, wait, we got to work on this. And how come Crow always gets timeouts for being sassy? I think Joel. I like That's a Peter Lawford and Peter Laurier can be called Pete and repeat. Because it's already the right thing. Joel is a little hard on him anyway. I think Joel should get a timeout for once. What do you think? And then they head for the stars. Yeah. And then you learn some kind of lesson, and then you go home. Now that's a better ending. Now, what do you think, sir? No, Frank, no more alternate endings. No, wait, hear me out on this. Now, I envision Big Stupid as pure energy. Pure energy? Yes, I'm but fascinated. He's, Frank, step this way. He's plucky pure energy. Plucky pure, pure just, uh, energy with a, a heart. Seat. Lay down there, and uh, if you would hold this railroad spike on your skull. Sure. Now, I envision a moment of truth. <sighs> now, there could be lots of adventurous scenes. Here's a of moment him of truth. In front of oh! <laughs> well, I also see a role for Charles Durning in this. There could be. Oh! <laughs> Till next time, Joel. Then there could be another seat. Oh! <laughs> 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 Are you waiting for a bus?